Gordon Brown, the current Prime Minister of Great Britain. In a few weeks, will he still be the Prime Minister? Gordon Brown is the Labour's leader. David Cameron, the Conservative leader. Will he be the next Prime Minister? Nick Clegg, the Liberal Democrats leader. Will he become the next Prime Minister? Answers. They shouldn't be having second jobs either, and that's all too common in the House of Commons. They should be working full time for the constituents' interests. And they shouldn't be in a position where they're not acts telling you that they will come and report to you every month on what they're doing, holding local surgeries, being held to account. And if they're not... It's the leaders' debate. Court, you have the right to recall them. That's the most important thing that we can do now to clean up what has been a terrible scandal and something that I am ashamed of on behalf of all politicians. Now, of course, of course, no one is blemish-free. Of course, people aren't angels. But the point is this. If you're going to try and persuade people to invest trust again, which was Mary's question into politicians, then it's just not good enough just to talk the talk and not walk the walk. Okay. You can't say you want to clean up funding and then block deals we'll to do precisely that. This time is, uh, my prescriptions for the elderly or free eye tests. Uh, and, and to be honest, uh, Nick has got a problem in his manifesto because he seems to be cutting the budget of the winter fuel allowance this year. And I would like them to explain to the pensioners of this country what, in fact, they propose to do. David Cameron, well, your I chance. I just think it is disgraceful to try and frighten people in an election campaign, as Gordon Brown has just done, and as the Labour Party are doing up and down this country. And I'd like to take this opportunity to say very clearly to any pensioner in the audience, anyone listening at home, that we will keep... Uh, the free television licence, we'll keep the pension credit, we'll keep the winter fuel allowance, we'll keep the free bus pass. Those leaflets you've been getting from Labour, those letters you've been getting from Labour, are pure and simple lies. The politician shouldn't say lies very often. I say it because I've seen those leaflets and they make me really very, very angry. You should not be frightening people in an election campaign. It's just not right. Okay. Uh, well, uh, um, firstly, before I respond to Gordon Brown's invitation, Glad you've been reading our manifesto with such care. Um, uh, uh, there are two and a half million pensioners who are in poverty. So after 13 years of all Labour's promises about giving a fair deal to pensioners... Don't forget that Gordon Brown is a world government person. I Gordon Brown wants a new world new order. Money we've got. Money is well, he's talked about it before. Will Gordon Brown still be the Prime Minister? I'm not really into politics, so I want people to write comments underneath this, who you're voting for and why you're voting for um, the reporter. I'm not a Nero. This is something which is such a big issue. We need See to take a common approach because that's the only way we're going to provide good social care. Debate, uh, Gordon Brown. I, 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 do, I do seem to be right. Uh, David did not mention free eye tests. Well, let me do it right now. We'll keep them right well, now. Right, will you, okay, well, let me try to do that. Will you now withdraw? Will you withdraw the leaflets? Will you withdraw the leaflets that are going out around the country saying that the Conservatives would take away things like the free bus pass? But, you know, you really should be ashamed of doing things David, like that. David, I have not authorised any leaflets like that. What I would ask you to say is why. Why is it not in your manifesto that you're keeping free eye tests and free prescription charges? And to Nick, I would say, if you're cutting the winter fuel allowance, that means that some people will suffer this year. Bye.